Tonight I am making homemade stromboli out of leftover frozen bread dough. In a large bowl, I brush the inside with a little bit of olive oil, put the frozen bread doughs in place, and cover them with a towel. Welcome to Tessa's Kitchen. You want to put these in a warm spot in your kitchen, and that spot for mine is in the microwave, especially since I'm going to be thawing and rising overnight. And good morning, and this is what the bread looks like. It is now doubled in size and ready to be made into the bowlies. I have a floured work surface and a rolling pin. I have deflated the loaf and gently formed into a ball. Now I'm going to turn it out onto my floured work surface. With your fingers, knead around the edges and from the inside out. This way the dough is going to have some elasticity and you're going to be able to form it a lot better. Then take your rolling pin and roll it to the thickness that you want. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. In one of the bowlies I'm going to put a ricotta cheese mixture in. And this is about a half a cup of ricotta cheese, about two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, a tablespoon of parsley, one egg, and a dash of salt and pepper. For additional ingredients, I have some shredded mozzarella, and I have to have some provolone in the refrigerator, so I just gave it a couple slices. This is turkey pepperoni. And I have some green scallions and some grated Parmesan cheese. I didn't have any pizza sauce on hand, but I did have some marinara sauce left over the other night from spaghetti. So I'm just going to spiff it up a little bit. So I'm adding a couple tablespoons of tomato paste, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and basil, and about a quarter teaspoon of oregano. And I'm just going to give it a good mix, and that's going to be my pizza sauce. I have the dough rolled out onto my floured work surface. These are not always going to be round or rectangular. They're going to shape into the shape that they want, and you just let it. Now I'm going to spread a nice layer of sauce down the middle of the dough. Don't go out to the edges. Leave a little space, like a half an inch or three quarters of an inch, where you're going to be folding over the dough and crimping the edges. Sprinkle with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese, and then I'm going to lay down my provolone cheese. You can put in a bowlie anything that you like. This is just what I happen to have on hand. Next, scatter some green scallions, and then the yummy mozzarella cheese, what we've all been waiting for. And then finally, the turkey pepperoni. I'm taking a pastry brush and brushing the outside rim with an egg wash. This is going to help the dough edges stick together when I fold over the bowl in half. You can find this recipe and more on my Facebook and Google Plus page. Remember to come give me a visit. Now I'm going to roll up the edges to ensure everything is sealed. Going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the top and take my hand and rub it all over. I'm taking the knife and making a couple cuts down the middle, just to make some vent holes for the heat. Try 
transfer over to a foil lined baking sheet. Okay, let's make one more. I'm going to use the same procedure, but I'm just going to add the ricotta cheese mixture. These bowlies are so easy to make with the frozen bread dough. With this recipe, you can make your own pizza dough or use a pre-made pizza dough. But I happen to have frozen bread dough on hand, and that's what I used, and it worked out excellent. Bake at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Then turn your trays around 180 degrees so the bowlies will cook evenly. Close your oven door, turn your heat down to 375, and bake an additional 15 minutes. And now the moment of truth. Look at all that ooey, gooey, cheesy goodness. You can certainly add whatever you want to these bowlies. How about some hamburger, chicken, ham? And what about some bell pepper or broccoli or even some pineapple? Wow, that has a good taste. Better than that stuff that's delivered to your door. And now the second one with the ricotta cheese mixture. The ricotta cheese gives it a whole different richness, like a calzone or a lasagna. The crust is crunchy, and the inside is just packed full of flavor with the pepperoni, the cheese, and all the seasonings. I hope you make these bowlies, love them, and enjoy. Thanks for joining me here in Tess's Kitchen. Remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. You can also find me on Google Plus and Facebook. Until next time, enjoy.